This is our Gladiolus topiary project. We've got a great publication on how to make this for professional florists, but also for floral enthusiasts. It uses locally grown gladiolus, which are a great crop. If you haven't thought about growing glads before, take a look at our publications and learn how to do it. They're such a rewarding flower. Gladiolus are a line material, or also known as a spike material, and they bloom so that the open florets are at the base of the flower spike towards the top. You want to keep that in mind for this project because you need the open blossoms for this as well as the stem. It uses fresh flower foam, but a nice thing about it is it uses the entire bunch of the gladiolus. So you're not really wasting a lot of plant material and you can do this entire project using just gladiolus flowers, stems, and foliage. In our design, I wanted to show you how it's put together. You can see it uses fresh flower foam at the base as well as a cube of it at the top. We hold it together with some waterproof tape and uh, then we insert our flowers into the foam. Very important tip about this though is that you want to make sure that the gladiolus floret stays attached to that heavy main stem. Don't try to take and impale the flower into the foam by itself because it won't stick and it'll just make you feel frustrated. The key to this project is to leave those florets attached to the main stem. And the best way to do that is by just cutting them with a pair of pruners or if you're good at working with a floral knife, use that. You just take then and impale that little stem into the globe and that's all it takes. You can make loops with the leftover foliage or in this instance I used a little bit of contrast here by adding some of the solidago, also known as goldenrod flowers, into that. So I've got this nice combination of soft yellows and light violet together. Baste it with chrysanthemums, keep the base um, as plain and simple as you can, because then it'll emphasize the globe of the design. You could scale this up with different mechanics to make a large table centerpiece, or you can also consider making a pair or trio of these for a mantle or a dining room table. Experiment and let your creativity run wild with the topiary form and gladiolus flowers, preferably locally grown.